question for this uh, the problem with the iMac 2009-2010 when you swap your hard drive over the hard drive doesn't have the Apple firmware upgrades so what happens is the fans run at 6000 rpm the solution to this problem is to fit a transistor onto the cable this is a transistor here which is one of these things here and you fit that transistor onto this cable which is that's the hard drive and the plug into the back of the hard drive and this goes onto the logic board so what we're going to do is we're going to take this from the logic board and we're going to cut this end off of here off of the hard drive so we cut the end off the hard drive and we're going to fit a transistor onto that and once we've fitted the transistor we're then going to fit to the drive and plug that into the logic board and this will take care of the fans noise the fan speeds high speeds so what I've done is a bit of heat shrink now if you take these this transistor here pins two and three join them together so pins two and three are together and pin one is on its own quickly do this with a solder in here. What this transistor will do for you is it'll take your fan speed and slow it right down to the base speed of 1100 rpm. Now in theory it's just going to take the noise away it's not really going to control the temperature so it's not really an ideal solution to the problem. Uh, wh where this comes from is from the, the older iMacs 2006, 7, 2008 iMacs and MacBooks. They were using this exact transistor to connect to the board to control the temperature. One of the newer boards, it just doesn't work. Right, so a bit of black to the, this side, pin 2 and 3, and the black to that. Gray one on the other side. At the end of this, I'll take this and actually connect it to a working iMac and just demo this to show you how it will take the fan speed from a 3000 4000 RPM back to 1000 RPM. We'll just tag this on the end of this video. Drink, chuck it over there. There you go. So what we then do with this is we take this and the drive is mounted. You'd mount this piece here, the transistor, you tape it onto your drive and you take this lead here logic board and that will control the temperature exactly the same as what's happening here with this connect to the logic board and I'm taking that out, cutting it off, joining a transistor on the end, plugging that into the board and you'll see that your fan temperature drops right back down to 1100-1200 RPM. So now what we'll do with this transistor is we'll fit it into an iMac so we can demonstrate how it will change the fan speed. It really isn't a solution to the, fan, the, the temperature of the iMac, it's just a solution to your fan running at 6000 RPM. So if you look at this fan speed now, it's 3900 RPM and it's going to climb up towards 6000. So we'll fit this transistor, this iMac, and we'll look at the temperature and see it dropping down. You can hear the fan, if you listen, you can hear that fan noise. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to connect this into here. I'm going to connect this fan so what we'll do is we'll hook this up to the uh, 
I'll just leave this sitting outside just to show you what's going to happen. If you look at that fan speed again, you see it was 3600 or 3900, it's dropping down. And you'll notice the fan noise drops away. That will drop down to 1100 RPM, which is a standard basic base speed of a, a Mac. No matter what I do with this little thing here, if I apply a temperature to this to increase the temperature, nothing really happens with this speed, it stays the same. So this really on this model of Mac doesn't actually help. It doesn't actually control the fan temperature. So by putting this on a 2009 or a 2010 iMac, it doesn't actually control the temperature, it just drops it down to the base 1100 RPM.